five to seven minutes. Please welcome Mahalia. Thanks, Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. Uh, today, as Sean said, I will be focusing on the plight of children. As I was hiding this speech, a few words come to my mind. It's a poem. It's a dialogue between a mother, an unborn child, and a big wife. And the mother says, Oh mother, my firstborn, my body is about to tear down, but my heart is blown, ready to welcome you as a child of my own. Forgive me, son. For I won't talk a ton, here comes the labor, here comes the pain. And the mother fights, just sees the pain. The midwife, she's ready. Father is ready. Everyone is ready. But the boy stays steady. Not willing to let go of the peace he found in his mother's belly. I refuse to be born, he says to son. I refuse to be born. But your mother is in pain, says the woman in pain. I refuse to be born in a world where rockets keep falling down, where the children flee their home, until in the high seas they get drowned, or the hunger they go down, or the fence hunts them down. I refuse to be born. But your mother is in vain. she thought of another line. As the boy made it known, we let this kid and others down. Angry kid in that town, another depressed in this town. So many others all along. So many orphans on their own. There is Sandy Hook where precious babies were mowing down and the dreams we're broken down. And the woman gives up the time, but the mother takes on. Oh, mother, my first born, there is two sides to every corn. If you come in turn, I will love you, son. I will name you Dan. I will raise you then. Happiness will go on. Little Dan was the born. These words came to my mind as I was going through the plight of children around the world. I'm going to ask you a favor. I'm going to tell you a number, and I want you to visualize that number. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. 25 million. Visualize that number. I'm gonna say it again, 25 million. Now open your eyes. What if I tell you, fellow Toastmasters, that number represents the number of children that have been forcibly displaced from their homes? 25 million children are living outside of their homes in refugee camps around the world today. That number comes from the United Nations High Council uh, Commissioner for Refugees. 51 million people are forcibly displaced. Half of those are children. So I think about that. I keep thinking whether we have come a long way when it comes to human civilization. 
in my mind, we score the lowest when it comes to how we treat our children. We subject them to wars. We subject them to violence. And even the advertising industry gives us this impression of highly sexualized media fields that are harmful to children. There are so many ways that we could have done better. And we need to do better. I conclude with my speech by want you to think about these numbers. Pray for them. And let's find any way that we can improve any policies that would make the lives of our children better. Thank you.